Uh, hello again, boys and girls. Uh, Mr. Kalashin here again for another math lesson. <clears throat> again, you'll need your uh, math notebook. You'll need a whiteboard and a, a erasable uh, marker if you have one. If not, a piece of paper will work. And, uh, of course, a pencil. And if you happen to have your graphic organizer uh, with you, uh, that would be uh, useful as well. Um, the lesson today is uh, lesson number 102. It can be found on page 318 in your uh, math notebook, volume, your volume 2 math notebook. And it's uh, graphing or uh, graphing patterns. So um, here we go. Create a sequence of numbers starting at zero using an add three pattern. I'll pause for a moment. You pause, do that. I'll come back, to, come back when you're ready. Okay, so you've done that, I hope, and you've gotten a pattern something like that. Getting three bigger each time. Remember, always starting at zero because it, it directed you to start at zero. Three, six, nine, etc., cetera, et cetera, all the way up. And those three dots mean so on and so on to continue. <clears throat> Learning objective today. Today we will graph and examine relationships between patterns. Standard is 5OA3, uh, and the essential question is how are points located on a coordinate plane? That's what we've been working with, coordinate planes and the ordered pair um, located on those coordinate planes. In the math notebook, create two sequences of numbers, both starting from zero, that would be the origin point, and for sequence x, remember that's the uh, horizontal axis, use a plus three pattern. For sequence y, remember y is the vertical pattern, use a plus six pattern. <clears throat> so sec sequence x starting number zero, rule add three. Sequence y starting number zero, rule add six. So in x, the first number would be zero, and each number thereafter would be three bigger each time. So it's z zero, three, six, and nine. For y, it would be 0, 6, 12, and 18. Gosh, <clears throat> right off, I see a relationship between the x numbers and the y numbers. Do you see it? Oh, I bet you do. I bet you do. What do you notice? How are the sequences related to each other? I bet you see that. I bet you see that if you multiply... 2 times the x sequence, you get the y sequence, even with 0, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 9 is 18. I knew you saw that. I knew you saw it. You guys are so sharp, you are on it. <clears throat> Create two sequences of numbers, both starting from 0. Now this is on whiteboard or paper. For sequence x, use a plus 2 pattern. For sequence y, use a plus 6 pattern. So again, it would be 0 and 0. Then it would be 2 and 6, 4 and 12, 3 and 6, 6 and 18. Oh, do you happen to notice a relationship there? Oh, let's go back. Do you happen to notice a relationship there? If you see it, raise your hand. Oh, I see a lot of hands going up. I see a lot of hands going up. You see that relationship. 3 times the x equals the y. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 6 is 18. And yes, 3 times 0 is 0. <clears throat> Cora and Cecilia each use chalk to make their own number patterns on the sidewalk. They make each of their patterns 10 boxes long and line their patterns up so that they are next to each other. Cora puts zero in her first box and decides that she will add three every time to get the number, the next number. Cecilia 
puts zero in her first box and decides she will add nine every time to get the next number. So there's the start. You finish it. Pause now. Finish the pattern. Come back when you've written the pattern in and see how you did. Okay, you're back. So let's see what you got. Oh, they ask you, complete each girl's sidewalk pattern. How many times greater is Cecilia's number in the fifth box? Fifth box, then Cora's number in the fifth box. What about the numbers in the eighth box and the tenth box? What pattern do you notice in your answers for part B? Why do you think that pattern exists? If Cora and Cecilia kept their sidewalk patterns going, what number <clears throat> what number will be in Cora's box when Cecilia's corresponding box shows 153? Pause, finish your work, and then come back, and we'll discuss. Pause now. Okay, so on Cecilia, on uh, Cora's box, you would have, let me write this in. You'd have three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one, twenty four, twenty seven. This uh, Cecilia's would be nine grade reach eighteen twenty seven twenty one thirty six. I'm saying them as well as writing them so that you can't read my handwriting and hear what I'm saying. Forty five fifty four sixty three seventy two and eighty one. Okay. Uh, how many times greater is Cecilia's box uh, number in the fifth box be than Cora's number in the fifth box? One, two, three, four, five. Well, it's three times greater. Eighth box, uh, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, sixty-three. Again, three times greater and three times greater and three times greater. So that's the relationship all the way through because as we started, nine is three times greater than three. What pattern do you notice in your answers for part B? We just discussed that. I just gave you the answer. If Cora and Cecilia kept the sidewalk patterns going, what number will be uh, in Cora's box when Cecilia's box is 153? Well, it would be 100. 53, hmm, would it be 153 minus 3, times 3, or divided by 3? Oh, you're so smart. It would be divided by 3 because, because Cora's box is, Cora's numbers are one-third of Cecilia's box. So, um, uh, it would be 50. One, fifty-one. All right, let's keep moving. Create two sequences of numbers, then create ordered pairs for these sequences. Pattern X, start with two and add two. Pattern Y, start with four and add two. So the rule for X is uh, add two, and the rule for Y is add two. So sequence X, 2. So you start with 2. Be careful. You have to really be careful and pay attention to what they ask you to start with. They didn't ask you to start with 0 on this one. They ask you to just start with 2. So it would be 2, then 4, 6, and 8. And Y would be 4, 6, 8, and 10. 2 greater than the X 
factor each time. What do you notice? How are the sequences related to each other? Well, they each get two bigger each time, but y is always two greater than x. Because it started two greater than x. Create two sequences of numbers, then create ordered pairs for these sequences. Pattern x, start with 2, add 2. Pattern y, start with 4 and add 2. So remember, the x, no, the, x fat, the x number of the ordered pair always comes first because x comes first in the alphabet. Think about x coming first in the alphabet, x then y. So this one would be 2 and 4. The next one would be 4 and 6. The next one would be 6 and 8. And the last one would be 8 and 10. Making sure there's always a comma between the numbers and parentheses around them. <coughs> Notice that this sequence x and y are related by multiplication. As we discussed earlier. With this sequence x and y are related by addition. Which we just discussed. Create two sequences of numbers, then create ordered pairs for these sequences. Pattern X, start with 3 and add 8. Pattern Y, start with 6 and add 8. So, six would start, uh, X would start with 3. Uh, y would start with 6. Here we add 8, so this would be 11, 19, and 27. This would be 6, and add 8, 14, 22, and 30. They wrote it neater than I did. Now we have the ordered pair. We have 3 and 6, 11 and 14, 19 and 22, 27 and 30. Remember, always putting the X number first. 3 and 6, 11 and 14, 19, 22, 27 and 30. Again, always putting them inside parentheses and a comma between the numbers. Create two sequences of numbers. Now we're working in your workbook, in your, in your notebook. Then graph the ordered pairs to create these sequences. Pattern X, pattern Y. Start with 1 and add 3. Start with 4 and add 3. Make sure you're looking at that carefully. Start with what? 1. Start with what? 4. Sequence X is 1 and be 4. Then it'll be 7 and then 10. Sequence Y, you start with 4, then you add 3, which would be 7, then 10, then 13. Then here, remember, X comes first, then Y. 1 and 4, 4 and 7, 7 and 10, 10 and 13. Bingo, you guys are awesome. You are awesome. Make sure you're copying all this down in your book. Make sure you have it in your notebook. That's your textbook. Now we're going to graph these on a on a um, on a coordinate plane, and we're going to we're going to graph these ordered pairs on a coordinate plane to uh, to set it up. So here we go. Uh, you have one. There's, there's, there's this point right here, 1, 1, and 4. We'll call that A, and I'll put a little A next to it. We'll call this one B, 4 and, s 4 and 7. B would go right there. Let's see if it puts a little dot there. Yep, right there it took my B away, it took my A away too. And there's 7 and 10, 7 
Down, remember, down the runway, down the runway first, seven, then up into the air, like an airplane, 10, seven and 10 will be right there. And then look at that nice, pretty little pattern we're getting. And then 10 and 13, down the runway, 10, up into the air, 13, 10 and 13 will be right there. Beautiful. What do you notice about the graph? It's a line. It's making a perfectly straight ascending line as it goes up. The relationship is very solid. Next, create two sequences of numbers. Then graph the ordered pairs created for these sequences. Start pattern X. Start with 2 and add 3. Pattern Y. Start with 6 and add 3. There's sequence X. Start with 2 and add 3. 5, 8, and 11. Pattern Y. Start with 6 and add 3. 9, 12, 15. Be careful you don't make silly mistakes on these simple addition problems. What's the relationship? Well, the relationship I see, can't say multiply by 3 because that doesn't work. The relationship I see is y is always 4 greater than, than x. It started 4 greater, the relationship continues. And there's the, there are the ordered pairs, 2 and 6, 5 and 9, 8 and 12, 11 and 15. Create two sequences of numbers. Starting, okay, there they are. There's 2 and 6, 5 and 9, 8 and 12, and 11 and 15, and again, it's a nice straight ascending line pattern. Closure. How can we create ordered pairs from patterns? Just as you saw, you take both numbers, you, took, you take the x factor and the y factor, and you create an ordered pair, remembering to put them inside a parentheses and put a comma between them. And what relationships did you notice between the x and y values that we used? The relationship stays the same throughout. Because the rule is consistent, the relationship remains consistent. If you start with one number being 3 greater than the other, and you apply the same rule to, uh, to both numbers, the relationship remains the same. Let me show you again right back here. Because, because the values started different, but the rule stayed the same, because the rule stayed the same, the relationship stays the same throughout on the numbers. Uh, the, the y factor is always 4 greater than the x factor because the, the rule of what you add to each number stayed the same. So again, that is the lesson. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for participating. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was of value to you. I enjoyed it as well. Uh, you guys did a great job. Thank you so much.